from the, the uh, back uh, view here of uh, Gavin Hoover and still they go on to big other moves here. Roy Efting wants a piece of the day. He comes up and goes high and wide and they're four wide now. Both Kiwis are getting involved here. This is absolutely fantastic. What a battle we have in Suing and Efting says, see ya, he's away. Well, how close can Gavin Hoover get to him? And is he just gonna tee up Morabedri? Oh, Morabedri's been divorced. Hoover's up there, crack, we've got it as well. Morabedri's off the case. Can Gavin Hoover pick it up and get a decent finish here? I think he may well have third, possibly second on his mind but the bell's already gone it's already over what a finale that was Gavin Hoover does score points here but Moro Bedry far fewer it's going to get tighter at the top all oh, credit to Roy Empton for making that heroic and indeed for Josh Chart for rolling the dice early what a run yeah what a run indeed and oh look at that the five spoke there just snapped basically there's no better way and off he goes. Bollinger has to just impose himself out the front. Levy's playing catch-up at the moment, but uh, Levrazen is there. In fact, it's Levy that has set off. Now then, will Levy back up and let Bollinger come through? Apologies, it's Levy on the front with uh, uh, Levrazen there. Levrazen still doesn't want to get boxed in here. He's coming out from uh, uh, behind the Germans, and here goes Bollinger. He's going to follow. He's going to follow here. Levrazen, but can he take him on the final corner? Here it is. Her body is coming up around the outside. Oh, I think he got there. It's a photo! It's a photo! Oh my goodness, has he been done over? Nobody knows! And what have you made of this track Champions League so far? How, how do you think it's, it's being received by the riders? It's pretty special. It's uh, tough racing, hard racing, short breaks. And it's just killing yourself uh, from heat to heat. Well, listen, congratulations. One more big one to go in the sprint. But for now, your current champion, Stefan Bottischer. Thank you. You're awesome. You want to, but uh, oh, she's choosing the music by the looks of things. Kajihara, well, look at that. She's uh, controlling things just for the time being. But because of the pace that's picked up, because it's coming to the end, Kajihara's not going to get back in. She will win this scratch race, however. She's so far up the road. However, let's wait and see what happens behind her. Bell's rung, final lap, that's for Kajihara. It'll ring again on the rest of the field. His arm's gonna hurt that man, I can tell you that much, because there's a big gap between them. Takes a long time to ring it up over everybody, and here they come. Katie Archibald, it'll be second place at best for her for this finish, but it'll be enough to uh, win the Women's Endurance League. Kajihara does the job here. Let's see who finishes second, that's the big one. Here it comes. Oh, they're all spreading out. Colts, this is also involved. Oh, Archibald second. Here, head to head uh, against uh, Hunter is, is is exceptional. Well, here comes the charge from Mitchell. Does she go early? Has she got the power to close down a gap in uh, and to foreshorten it down the back straight? She's We're gonna, gonna find out. She's gonna get her, I think. I'm not sure. Here we go then. There's the bell. So we wait for down the back straight. Here's your rush room. Hunter just pouring it on, but here comes Kelsey Mitchell. She's up on and is she gonna go on her hip? She has to be at least there by the final curve. Oh Mitchell, come on, she's gonna get up there, I think. Oh, fabulous, fabulous determination by Hunter. She makes it her own. She had the power. And you know, it's when you've got so much talent. It's all gonna go out, you know, I think the Dutch is gonna go out. Oh, I think he might just hold on. No, you're right, he's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a lot of effort just to go out before the final. Now two riders left. Aaron Gate on that 68 to chaining, I believe. Same with his teammate. I believe that's his son in the track centre. Fantastic. And it is up against Yuri Leitao, a man we haven't mentioned at all. Uh, in this one, and that's because he's been in such a strong position and Leitao's got to be oh, favourite. Okay, he's coming take. up over the, far, over the top. Leitao's been brilliant in this, uh, in, in this Champions League and he has won this one. Fantastic. Special ride. That we perhaps would have expected. Maria Martins goes now. What will Katie Archibald? Last time she went straight over the top of Kirstenfeld, went on the attack. 
and buried her. But I've got a feeling they may well even ride this around together. Yeah, Here we are. Not. She takes her up to the rail. She does not want to give anything away. Great competitors. Bill will want a piece of this as well. And she turns it on likewise. This is fantastic. Here's the bell. Final round. Katie Archibald picks it up on a wall of sound here. Then she's nearly taking the roof off. This is amazing. Bill's not giving up at all, though. She's holding that line. But Katie Archibald has broken her. And she's gone through here. Brilliant work by Archibald. Fabulous race as well by Kirsten Bill. Very much a part of the drama. That was wonderful. Now, Casey, I think the crowd liked that. What do you reckon? Yeah, you know, I think there's uh, there's so many things going into this, you know, being with a, a British crowd, with uh, Metty and Kirsten's final race, you know, like it, it feels, I don't know, it feels like a really big deal, if I'm honest. <laughs> Oh, Lee Sophie is going to have to, uh, uh, to cope with Starakova, who's gone off the front. Starakova's on a steal here, unless somebody can pick it up and hits us coming back into it. Oh, Starakova just dives into uh, this curve, and maybe fatigue is starting to show here. And don't count out Bayona. This is her. That you're looking back at her from uh, Kelsey Mitchell's bike at the moment. Kelsey Mitchell's not finished either. It's going to be on the line. Oh, that was fantastic. Starakova. Uh, to... Uh to Europe, to Western Europe. Let's wait and see. Bottinger knows what he's Ooh, got to do. Nice. So, oh, that was super! Oh, oh my goodness, that w the crowd are going crazy here, and so are we. Uncle Tasselwitz has taken this to absolutely everybody. Want to see something? Have a bit of this. Fantastic. Final lap, bell's already gone. Bottinger will be angered by that. <laughs> it's like poking a, a, a viper, isn't it? Pushing him, making him there we faster. Go. Picks it up, goes to the rail. That's a lot of drop off he wants to use here. Coming off these turns, two laps remaining. High, wide, and handsome gets a bit of impetus uh, courtesy of those angles. Still looking over his shoulder a little bit, and hasn't turned on the power just yet, but he's going to have no choice but to do exactly that. We're coming into our final lap right now, and the Vazen has an advantage, but some rush room here for Bottinger. Can he make it count? He's in that aero pocket right now, and he comes out into the wind at the very last. Two, three, three, four. Can he get there on the line? No! It's Le Brazen that takes it and is our worthy champion. 